Wrestling Merchandise and Memories, that's MerchandiseAndMemories.com and welcome to a special edition of Bulldogs Unboxings. And the reason I say special edition is because this is filmed a little bit out of sequence. Normally I film these episodes, you know, months and months and months in advance, but I just received this package today in the mail and I knew I had to open it right away because it's so fresh, it's so new, it's so exciting, and I've been waiting for this one for a long time now. So as you can see on the box, this is the WWE Ultimate Edition. You can also see it's a ringside exclusive, and it says the ringside exclusive, this fall exclusive two pack for 2024. I don't know if I've seen that before. So it does sound like uh, Ringside Collectibles is planning on doing this somewhat seasonally uh, from now on, which is, which is welcome news for sure. You guys know me, I am an Ultimate Edition fan. I love the form factor. I have well over 60 figures, Ultimate Edition figures unboxed, and another 20 just sort of sitting, waiting to be unboxed. I wasn't gonna wait the, the length of time for this one. I just knew I needed to crack it open right away because it's such a special edition. So with that said, let's take a look and see what's inside the cardboard box. All right, we have the cardboard box here. We're just, uh, we've cut this open and we're gonna open the box inside the box, which will lead to yet another box, I'm sure. Yeah, you gotta love the ringside collectibles packaging. Hard to get it all in the frame here, but Outsiders, you can see Hall and Nash here. There's a very, very cool box art. And you've got that ringside exclusive. And then on the side, the Outsiders. Ultimate Edition with the NWO spray paint. And on the back, you've also got that NWO spray paint. So it, it does remind me in some ways of the, the retro four pack that they released not too, too long ago. And we're gonna open this box up to reveal two more boxes. And we are gonna start with Scott Hall the bad guy. Um, and we can just see here, you've got the WCW logo on the Ultimate Edition package. Nice photo of Scott Hall. And then that's also continued here. I love that he's got the, the scary fingers on this one. I don't know if that's a first or not, but it might be. And then the description reads, Scott Hall shocked the Nitro audience when he jumped the barricade and invaded WCW. You know who I am, but you don't know why I'm here. At Bash of the Beach 1996, everyone found out when Hall, Kevin Nash, and Hulk Hogan joined forces to form the NWO. All right, so let's open, without further ado, the Ultimate Edition Scott Hall. Say hello to the bad guy. I know that's Razor Ramon, but just as by way of introduction here, this is the NWO Scott Hall Ultimate Edition. Um, first impressions, this is loose. Like not ridiculously loose, but like I look at things like the toe here and just, you know, sort of I, I've got it in hand. It is just a little bit loose. Um, that's not certainly not the end of the world, especially just given I'm sort of posing these guys, but just something to note. Um, this is very reminiscent of the, the Razor Ramon Ultimate Edition, obviously with um, you know different colors and he's got the outsiders and the, the blood uh, type logo here on the back and uh, outsiders on the trunks as well. 
and you've got that continues with the knee pads and everything. So everything is color coordinated. In terms of the face scan, it's okay. I know there's some other options here, so that's what I'm sort of more looking forward to. But I do think, you know, they've done Scott Halls before, so this is no surprise that they, you know, they did a reasonably, actually a really good, um, you know, version of him. You've got all the alter, alter, bleh, easier said than done. Ultimate edition articulation, including the hips can, can drop down. Um, like I said, the, the toes being a little bit out of joint is the only thing that kind of bugs me here. I may have to play around with that. In addition to the base figure, we've also got two alternate heads. So the first one here is, ooh, I like this one a lot. This is the, the I'm scared Scott Hall. And I know that he's got the corresponding hands. I'm excited to try that look on. So you've got that option. And then you've also got the smiling. Now this is, it's a great skin, don't get me wrong, but this is totally uh, a replica of the the uh, the WWE Razor Ramon version of the Ultimate Edition, like the faces is, is spot on. So I don't know if I would use that. I'm right now very heavily leaning towards the scared face. In terms of hands, you got these scared hands. So I will try that on in a second. And then you've also got the, the wolf pack hands, which is definitely an option. And then in addition to that, you've got a WCW Tag Team Championship. You've got the Outsiders t-shirt, which I believe I have from a couple of different uh, Outsider figures in the past, maybe the Legends figures or something. And then you've got the NWO t-shirt which i also have um so i'm gonna i'm gonna play around with this for a second and see what kind of different versions we can do after lots of trials and tribulations and tests and things i think this is definitely the look you want to go with the scared hands the scared finger or sorry the scared hands and the scared face um just make an unbeatable combination whether you give them the out outsider shirt the nwo shirt or the vest i really don't think you can go wrong um this is a, a pretty cool figure look i like virtually all of the the scott halls and razor ramones that mattel have put out and i think the the ultimate edition which we covered uh, i believe earlier this year was was my favorite this is a, a pretty close second though because you've got just a lot of options to make this your own up next you've got kevin nash because you can't have scott hall without kevin nash in this outsiders pack um you can see once again the wcw logo on the side here and he's got blonde hair in this uh, picture that it looks like these are dark hair images um, and, and virtually the same, you know, accessories and everything like that. And then on the back here, yeah, again, he's got the blonde hair. That's kind of interesting. Um, but his quote says, Scott Hall promised a big surprise for the WCW audience and they don't get much bigger than the seven foot tall Kevin Nash. Together they form the Outsiders and challenge any three WCW superstars to a fight against them and a mystery third partner at Bash at the Beach, 1996. The results were just too sweet. All right, let's crack open Kevin Nash. All right, it's time for Kevin Nash. This figure I am in love with almost immediately because it is so different than any other Kevin Nash figure I've ever had. First of all, can we talk about the all red outfit, which is just, I know he wore it sometimes, but it's just not what you normally equate Kevin Nash with. Um, so it's just, it's different in that sense. You got the word, the outsiders here on the front, uh, on his uh, on his singlet. And then you've got the uh, the fringes that he uh, had as, as both uh, Diesel and, and Kevin Nash in WCW, sort of the bell bottom and again, you've got this issue with the toes, although this one I can repair pretty easily. Uh, and it says outsiders on the, on his leg. I need to pop that into place here. There you go. Now it says outsiders. Uh, and then he's got the, the red vest, which is sort of alternate uh, outfit. What I find really interesting is this armband. I don't remember him having this, but I see in the photo that he, he does. Um, so it's just an interesting choice. Sort of covers up his, his tattoo a little bit. And then, oh, this is interesting. The NWO logo, like he, obviously they weren't calling themselves the NWO at, very, at the very first. So you can't say this is a debut 
uh, Kevin Nash. It's it's a little bit later in the run, um, which is fine. It's just it's just interesting. Head scan is pretty fantastic. Uh, the best Kevin Nash head scan I've seen to date. It's sort of perfectly. It's got the feathered hair, the uh, the the beard and mustache, and just the, the sort of look on his face is pretty faithful to the original. Um, so there's a, there's a lot to love about this one, and he's got the size. You know, if you compare him to to Scott, like obviously he's a lot taller, so that's cool. In addition to that, you've got two extra heads. So you've got Angry Nash, which had I don't love the nose on this one. If that makes sense. It looks just a little bit out of sorts, but otherwise the expression is good. It looks like almost like a bootleg Kevin Nash, if that makes sense. And then uh, you've got a screaming. Kevin Nash, which is also, I think that's okay. I don't like it as much as I think the head that comes on, comes posed with him, I think is is the most realistic anyways, but I do like, you know, mixing things up sometimes with a, uh, you know, with a, just a screaming head scan or something like that. And then you've got the same goodies for the most part. You've got the, the Outsiders t-shirt, you've got the uh, NWO t-shirt, uh, you've got the tag team title, and then just in terms of alternate hands, he only has one pair of alternate hands as opposed to Scott Hall has two. He has the Wolfpack ones, which I will, I think I will use those for Nash just because they're there and why not? Um, yeah, this is this is a pretty solid figure and I just love how different it is from a lot of the other NWO era Kevin Nash figures that are out there. Folks, we've waited quite a while for these ringside exclusive NWO Ultimate Edition figures. And I would dare say it's well worth the wait. Are these my favorite Ultimates of all time? Maybe not, but they are ones that, you know, haven't been done in this format before. So I think that's kind of cool. And I really, really enjoy the alternate color scheme you've got here for Nash. I think it just makes all the difference in the world. And add to that for, for Hall, the, the scary hands, the scary face, uh, just just a very cool option to have. So these will be right at home in my very large growing Ultimate Edition collection. So thank you for watching this special edition of Bulldogs Unboxings, and we'll see you next time. Wrestling memories were on the clock Bulldogs and boxes, yeah the treasures unfold